Hello, this is the Reverend Dr. Larry Macon, your host today. We're at the Mount Zion Church in Oakwood Village, and we're glad to have you on Got Questions. If you got questions today, maybe it's a question about the Bible. Maybe there's a verse you're concerned about. Maybe it's a, a question about your own family life, something going on inside of your house. Maybe there's a relational problem. Uh, maybe there's a long-standing question that you've had, even about God, Jesus Christ, or the Holy Spirit. Well, we've got a program here at the Mount Zion Church where we ask you to call in at 440-232-2645 and leave your question there, and we're going to answer it right here on this program entitled, Got Question? You can even email us at uh, mountzionoakwood.org or... Uh, webmaster at mountzion.org and we will answer any and all questions that you may have. These are tough times. These are times when there are challenging moments, but if you have someone who is willing to help you with your questions, I'm sure that will help you move on even in the midst of all that is going on in our world today. Thank you for joining us and call us right now at God Question, Mount Zion Oakwood Village. Well, we're so glad to have today a group of people that I love so much. They have been dedicated to our church, and really they are professional singers. They sing all around the country and the world. Some of them play for some of the top people in America. One of them even directs the uh, Gladys Knight Band and orchestra, and uh, he moves all around the country. Another one is a drummer. He's a national drummer. There's a guitar guitarist here at the church. Why you think Chuck Berry is good, you ought to see him when he starts to play that guitar. It is a marvelous experience. And our church is open every Sunday at 8.30 a.m., and we have one of the best choirs in America. So I want to introduce to you the Mount Zion Professional Choir of Oakwood Village, nationally known and recognized. Why don't you give them a hand wherever you are? This is Mount Zion Choir. How, how are y'all doing today? Hello, doing good, Pastor. How are you? Good. Well, I'm going to ask each of you just to give your name here so the people will know who you are, starting with Terrence, because Terrence is a part of a major singing group around the nation. They have one of the top... Uh, they're among the top artists and top songs in America, and the name of your uh, group is Terrence's Half Mile Home. Half Mile Home. Yes. He discovered that question, that title, when he was getting ready to decide on whether he was going to Christ or is he going to turn and go back to the devil and sing in the secular world. And he was a half mile away from his home, and he said, "I'm going all the way with Jesus at That's this right. half mile point." So we're just glad to have Terrence with us today, and we've got Leon. Where's Leon at? Leon is back there. On the uh, yes, raise your hand, Leon. Leon, you play for Gladys Knight and the One Pip. That's <laughs> right. Gladys Knight always brings her pip, and she's a very religious lady. She loves God. Leon, how is it? How was the experience being there with Gladys Knight? That's a great pastor. That's a great pastor. I've, I've learned a lot. Amen. And you've been, you grew up here. I remember when you were a little, little boy, and I said to you, one day you're going to be a great man, and you're going to be playing across the nation and the world, and look at you now. And there's Josh. Josh, wave your hand. Well, Josh ain't going to say anything, but I he smiles know. a lot. He got one word in there. That's very, very uh, progressive for Josh. So thanks, Josh, for being with us. And John back there. Well, everybody knows John. He is one of the best drummers in America. I'm okay. And Thank uh, you, okay, I won't go further. And this is the Mount Zion praise team. Now, this is not all the praise team. We did have a picture up there. I don't know if they can show that or not. Can't show the picture, but we showed the picture this morning of the Mount Zion choir, and they were just out of sight. I decided since they uh, have, some have compromised systems so they can't get out, some have relatives that they have to be with so they can't get out, so they uh, are now on Zoom and they're singing on Zoom and we had them singing on Zoom today and it was outstanding. We even have a teacher here. Who's the teacher here? The teacher is, uh, what's the teacher principal? I have a principal. Yes, what's your name? D. That's Darnisha, and Darnisha is one of the principals. Tell us about how those kids are doing during this time, Darnisha. Um, believe it or not, they're doing fairly well, and they miss, they miss their teachers. They, they, they're ready to come back to school. Praise God. Now we also have a person by the name of Mrs. Josh. That's Brother Josh's wife. What's your name, dear? 
Alicia. Alicia, Alicia, what are you doing now? Doing this? Uh, how 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 can you speak to these people about this pandemic? What do you think they ought to be doing? Trusting God. Yeah, trusting God. Keep on praying. Keep on believing. Worship, sing. Amen. She's a worship leader, and she also works with the tots around here, and she does a good job. And this is Dr. Debbie Hardy. Debbie, tell us about that place that you work for. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Deborah Hardy, and I work at Lake Plain Community College, where we change lives through learning. So I'm an honor to be here and to share that with you. Well, what's marvelous about Debbie is that she don't tell very many people, but she has an earned PhD. And so she's a doctor, and she has written some marvelous works, and uh, she's really moving on up. So we're just glad to have that. Some people don't think that doctors and people who are highly educated ought to be singing in the choir, and that's not true. Because in the heavenly choir, where there's a host of choir members, there's doctors, lawyers, judges, uh, preachers, and deacons, and mothers, and fathers, and all kinds of people that sing in the choir. So she got her start earlier, right here at the Mount Zion Church. And we have Mrs. Turner. Mrs. Turner, raise your hand, Mrs. Turner. Say something to us. God bless and blessed to be here. Now, did you hear how well she was able to say that with a mask on? She is concerned about her health and other people's health, and so she's making sure she's being protected, but yet still she's here in church. Now, she just produced a marvelous song. What's the song you, you produced? Uh, the name of the song was produced by Leon Turner and Kenneth Turner, and the name of the song is King of Kings. You can find it on YouTube under Jeanette Turner Morgan. Well, we want to hear a little bit of that. Uh, can we hear a little bit of that? Uh, musicians, can you hit that number here? Let me just hear that. Uh, Leon, do you have that number? Or you have to work on it. Listen to this. Come on, daughter. Righteous and holy you are. Lord, we adore you. Dance and clap our hands. No other but thee. You're the king of kings, mighty in battle. Yes, you are the king of kings, mighty in battle. Oh, righteous and holy one, we worship you with all praise. Yes, righteous and holy one, you're mighty in all your ways. Well, that is so nice. Give her a great big hand God there. Bless. That is so very nice. Someone has asked, what can I do during this pandemic? How do I get through this pandemic? How do I get through all of the protests and all of that kind of a thing? Well, that question was an excellent question, and that's why we have these folk up here, because what you can do is just start to singing the songs of Zion. If you read in the book of Psalms, all they did was song the songs of Zion. Of course, we read those Psalms, but the truth of the matter is, our Israel, our, the old Israelites, the old Jewish people, actually sung those songs. And when they sung their song, all of a sudden they had a release. And so what we do here at Mount Zion is we sing and we try to teach people how to sing. We put words up there on the screen so they'll even learn the words and sing and move themselves in a higher place. We know that there is a choir. I don't know why churches got rid of their choir. Mount Zion never got rid of her choir uh, because the Bible talks about a heavenly choir. Amen. And so if there's a heavenly choir, you need an earthly choir to get ready. We're just rehearsing down here for heaven. And so we didn't give up our choir because we believe that they lift up people's burden on Sunday morning. Uh, can I give you a little piece of our choir today? What did y'all sing this morning? Or what do you like to sing? What do what you say? What, uh, Terrence, what you, what's your favorite song? Let me hear it. Yeah, sing one of them songs. So long, goodbye. Yeah, this is a, he's going to give you a short piece of that there. So long, goodbye. Goodbye to my troubles. Goodbye to my pain. Goodbye. So long. Jehovah, you. Yeah, yeah. I trust Oh! 
stuff that he puts in it he even have the glasses to go with it and the shoes to match you can't get by that well now we got mrs leon miss leon what miss leon hey, you know she's got an interesting name her mother very very religious people her father religious in fact he's a pastor here in cleveland uh, ohio and they named this young lady thessalonian after the book of thessalonian and she has lived out the life of a good Thessalonian that was raised in Mount Zion. And so tell, give us one of your songs there, Thessalonian. Give us one of your songs that you sang. And Leah, now he's your husband, so I know he can back you up. <laughs> well, this morning we sang Pulling Me Through. And I think that's a good song uh, for right now and what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. for protest, through all of the viruses, through all of the issues, God will never walk out on you. And I hope you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You have accepted Christ. If you haven't, I want you to put this, I want you to text this to us. 22828. Just put in the text where you put the number in. 22828. And then put in the word forgiven. F-O-R-G-I-V-E-N. Did I get it right? Forgiven. And then there's going to be a message that's going to pop out just to you. 22828, 22828, and see what happens. God's ready to change your life because he no, he's not going to walk out on you, but you can't walk out on him either. Well, we got one last person over here. I'm going to speak to two people, and then we're going to go. I got a young lady. There is a marvelous, marvelous song by Leandria that is being sung all over the country. And when this lady sings this song, this church cannot hold its composure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
People are crying and shouting, and you ought to hear the number of honking horns yes. when she sings this yes. song by this great soldier. I think it was Donald Lawrence that introduced yes. Yes. her to the community yes. in this song. And that is, what is your name? You called me. It Nina. used to be Darnisha, <laughs> but now you called yourself D. So I didn't know who you were. D. Darnisha, <laughs> come on, sing that song a little bit of that. Oh, this we sing old gospel also. Oh yes. So we just better shut it down and that way encourage you to come hear these folk in person. Yeah. You think that they're good over the air. You ought to be sitting in this auditorium, this sanctuary, when they start to sing in those kinds of songs. I believe that all of our churches have great singers and soloists, but I believe that Mount Zion just happened to have the best. And so when you come to this church, you're going to hear the best singer. Well, I think we've overshot our time. Does anybody have a favorite scripture they want to give out? Be a shout out. Anybody got a favorite Make scripture? A joyful noise unto the Lord, all you yes. guys. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing. Know that he is God and he is good. Amen. 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 Anybody else got another one there they want to shoot out? Come on there. Mrs. Uh, Leon. Well, my, Thessalonian. My favorite scripture is Proverbs 31 and 25. Um, she is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs at the days to come. Well, now, Brother Leon found that woman. Amen. Amen. Pro in Proverbs 31. <laughs> Dr. D, you got anything there? Do My favorite one is out of Philippians. Be careful for nothing, but bring your prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, and let your request be known unto God. Amen. Out of sight. Johnny, John over there, you got one there? James 3 and 13. Are there those among you who are truly wise and understand that they will show it by doing good things with the gentleness that comes from wisdom? Hey, man, that was so marvelous. Forgive well, me, Pastor. That was hundred sums. Forgive me. That's okay. Because we don't read the numbers. We just read what it says. In the original language, they didn't have numbers. They just had the script. So you're good. Well, we got to go. We enjoyed you. Thank you for joining us here at... Uh, Mount Zion Church, you got questions, you can always call us in during the week. Shout, give a shout out to somebody and tell them that Mount Zion 
That question is on right now. We want to thank this marvelous choir, this expert orchestra that we have led by one of the greatest orchestra leaders in America. And we want to thank all of our singers. Well, I think, Terrence, it's time for you to close us up in a word of prayer. Amen. Amen. So now we'll take some nice music. Lord, we thank you right now for this time. We thank you for another Sunday, Lord, to worship you. Even though we need to worship you every single day, Lord, but we take Sunday to just worship your name, Lord Jesus, because you've been so good. You've been so kind to us. Lord, thank you for keeping us, keeping us in the sound mind. Bless our families, Lord Jesus. As we're here in church today we, and, and we're asking you to bless us, Lord, we want to remember our family members. We want to remember the, those who, 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 are, who, are, who are in the sick and shut in, those who are afflicted by this disease, Lord Jesus. Come to their bedside right now, Lord, in the midst of their situation and just let them know it is you that can pull them through. We ask all these things in your matchless, precious name. Lord Jesus, amen. Amen. Thank you, and thank you for joining us with Got Questions. Call us, stop by, see us. If you want to give us an offering, you can by way of emailing it, by way of Givelify, by way of mailing it, dropping it off, or text to give. God bless you. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.